Hey guys and welcome to my quick world edit tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to do a vertical spiral with world edit and this is the kind of spiral I'm going to show you now. I've got commands for the two different sections of the spiral if you want them to intertwine like this or you can just use one of the commands if you just want a single spiral and I'll show you how to do this and how to edit the command so you can change the size of it you can change the width of it you can change how thick these loops are and you can change how tight the spiral is so first things first we're going to work on the white spiral now if you're just wanting to do a single spiral this is the only one you will need if you don't want them intertwined but the first thing you need to do is to get your tool and select an area so go ahead and select your first position and then you need quite a bit of space for the second position. So you can go up as high as you want. Go ahead and set a block and use that as your next position. And that will give you an area that it will spawn the spiral in. So this is the first command you will need. I will put it on the screen. I will also put it down in the description so you can just copy and paste. Now this will create the first spiral as seen here. Now I will show you how to edit this. So I'll put it up on the screen. So if you look at the actual command, they will see there are a few different places where there are numbers. The first number where it says 95, that is the type of block you've got so 95 is the block number for white glass and then as you can see the next number we have got y slash 10 now that one is the tightness of the spiral in height so how close these sections are to each other so if you change that to a lower number they will be tighter together if you change it to a bigger number they will be further apart i can show you that here so if I do the same command, but change this to 30, you can see we have a looser spiral going up. And if we change it to five, it will be an even tighter spiral. So if we go ahead and place the same spiral in once again, and we can look at the command. So, the next number you will need to look at is the x and it says minus equal five so that will be a x plus on the second spiral that goes through but the change of that number five right there will change the spiral tightness in width so it will change how wide this section of the spiral is from this side to this side so if we go ahead and copy that in and change that to 20 you can see we will have a wider spiral and the final number i'm going to show you is right near the end so as you can see here we've got the two and then just before that there is a 2.5 and this will change the width of the spiral as in the actual thickness of each of these sections so if we just undo that and paste it in and change this to 10 you'll see we have a really thick spiral it doesn't kind of work at this narrowness because you see it will overlap but if we change a multiple things so if we want that on 10 but then change the width to 20 you will see we'll have a very thick wide spiral if we change all three numbers so we have the tightness of the spiral a little bit less tight you can see it works to give you a nice thick spiral so you can change these numbers play around with them as much as you want until you get the size and width that you actually need just remember the wider the spiral needs to be the bigger area you need to have selected in world edit otherwise it will cut off the edges just to the area you've got selected so if we just show you this now and we'll go ahead and place both of these spirals in like that and then we'll go ahead and place a, another spiral with different sizes right next to it just need to select a new location because if i paste another spiral in now it will paste over the top of this because of the area i've got selected 
So if we go ahead with the commands and change the round, so let's change the width of the spiral to 30. We'll change the X to 15, and then we'll change the final number to eight. Place that in. And then we have a nice thick spiral. So then we need to do the same with the second command. So we will change this one to 30, the X to 15, as you can see, this is the plus one. And then the final number to eight. And that will give us our nice thick spiral. So you can see, you can use this command to change however you want. So then using this, if you've got Lightmatica as well, you can uh, copy these in to Lightmatica, save it as a schematic. And then if you want to build it on a server, you have the reference to follow with that. But it's nice and simple and it looks really nice no matter what kind of size you're doing. And you can do these as large as you want. So as long as you select a large enough area, you can have really giant spirals going up. So I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.